super exciting day plan today. We are headed to check out Teotihuacan, one of the absolute must-sees when visiting Mexico City. First of all, we decided that we were gonna go using an Airbnb experience. Yeah, so it was a really small tour, which made it feel personal and really friendly. We loved our hosts were Sergio and Jane, and they were absolutely fantastic. They were very welcoming to us, thoughtful, very knowledgeable, and I think that being with them really brought the experience to another level. We learned that this place, which I think is translated to where men become gods, mm -hmm. uh, kind of reached its height somewhere between 100 BC and 500 AD. They built this amazing civilization. I think at one point it had about 150,000 people. So by the time the Aztecs arrived, uh, the Teotihuacan people were already gone and the city was sort of already falling into ruin. Interestingly though, nobody knows what happened to them for sure. There haven't been any remains discovered and it's just kind of a mystery. What happened to the Teotihuacan people? Nobody knows. That certainly piqued our interest. I can't stop thinking about it. I'm dying for more information. One of the other interesting things about the site itself is that there's so much that hasn't been excavated and uncovered already. Yes. Um, so nobody's really sure whether they're going to uncover more of it, but some of the answers might lie there. So it's just a really fascinating place to be. So of course Sergio and Jane walked us through all of that. Not only did they walk us through the history, they literally walked us through the site. Totally. Um, they took us through parts of the site that not everybody is able to enter into. They told us they have amigos who work there, which right. helped them out. Um, and so it was awesome. We got to have a little bit of an extra experience and extra education being with them. Another thing we did, which was amazing, was we had lunch in a cave. We had lunch in a cave. Who doesn't love lunch in a cave? They prepared lunch for us. We had a little margarita, a little guy, um, some tostadas and guacamole, and some sandwiches that Jane had made, and it just felt really homemade and kind of adorable, and we just had a great time. And of course, we got to climb the Pyramid of the Sun and the Pyramid of the Moon, which was amazing. We huffed and puffed our way up there. And what's, what's kind of fascinating about Jane and Sergio, they feel that the place is magical. Mm -hmm. So they bring that to their narrative, and it does feel like a magical oh place. Oh my god, absolutely. So when you're at the top of the Pyramid of the Sun or the Moon, they're very interested in yeah. taking energy from that location, which is, which is kind of awesome. Well, uh -oh. <laughs> okay, you're a square with star. Yes. What are we going to do here is we are going to take the energy bar in a different way. You, you took it over there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So overall, Teotihuacan is an amazing experience. Um, you don't want to miss it when visiting Mexico City, so make sure that you go if you can. Well, that's it from our amazing trip to Teotihuacan. We had an awesome time totally. today. Uh, and that's it for this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification button so you'll know when we have a new video to share. Thanks so much for watching.